Good morning to you precious saints of the Most High God. On this morning, we are talking about God will provide for you. I know we are in a pandemic and many people have lost their jobs. Many people are in financial straits. You are in a tough place. But the word of the Lord for you this morning is God will provide provide for you this message is going to build your faith and encourage you to let you know no matter what you are facing in your life god is still on the throne and he is determined to make a way he's determined to provide for you morning prayer with pastor sean pinder you move mountains sing it with me church you cause walls to fall with your power Perform miracles There is nothing That's impossible And we're standing here Only because Sing it with me church You made a way Come on sing it Because you made a way And we're standing here and we're standing here only because you move mountains you move mountains listen if there's something impossible that you are dealing with in your life we serve a god of the impossible he is a miracle working god he haven't changed he is still the same yesterday today and forever if you need a miracle from God, if you need a breakthrough, if you need a turnaround, you are in the right place at the right time. Come on, lift your hands and sing it. You made a way because you made a way. And we're standing, and we're standing here. Sing it. You move mountains, you move mountains. I feel the anointing. You cross walls. To fall with your power, perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we join our faith with your people on this morning. Minister to them. God, I pray that the word of Christ would come alive in their hearts and in their spirit and release the faith of God. Let your word release the strength of God to your people. Someone who is only hanging on by a thread, don't know, way, don't know which way to turn, backs are against the wall, stressed out God beyond measure because the bills are past due. They have to put food on the table for their children and things look pretty grim as far as they are concerned. But dear God, we ask you this morning to step in and provide for your people in the name of of Jesus Christ we pray someone say amen praise God praise God so on this morning we are talking about God will provide for you he is a miracle worker he is not broke the Bible says the cattle on a thousand hills belong to him David said the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want on this morning we are going into the book of john chapter 6 verses 5 through 14 listen to the word of god jesus soon saw a huge crowd of people coming to look for him turning to philip he asked where can we buy bread to feed all these people Man, Jesus knows how to put some pressure on you. Huh? <laughs> Man, Jesus, you are God. You got all that. What are you asking me? But I love verse 6. It says, he was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Can you lift your hands to heaven and said, it's only a test. It's only a test. It's only a test. Come on, lift your hands to heaven. Say, it's only a test. My God, it's a test. All right. God's going to bring you out. It's only a test. It's only a test. Now watch this. Philip replied, even if we worked for months 
we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. You know, even Jesus said, you got to count the cost. So Philip was using his head. God have given us a, he's given us a, a brain that we got to use. So Philip was calculating from his own human wisdom. And Philip say, Lord, even if we work for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. And this is the, this is the mistake all of us are guilty of making. It's okay to use your head and write everything out and do your calculations. That's showing that you are responsible. But after you get done making all of your calculations and you know you come up short, it's time to look to the hills from whence come at our help. Our help comes from the Lord which made the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keepeth Israel, he doesn't slumber nor sleep. So he was testing Philip and Philip said, Lord, man, even if we work for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed this crowd. Then Andrew Simon's, Simon Peter's brother spoke up. Boy, it's got to be Peter's family. They love to talk. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? There's a boy with five loaves and, and two fish. But what good are they among this so, so these men, I like them. I got to give them credit. They knew how to use their head. They knew how to calculate. They knew how to, how to count the cost. But where they, where, where they fell short was after they counted the cost, they forgot to look to Christ. They forgot to ask activate their faith and I know by that I feel the anointing of God here this morning I'm talking to somebody somebody has been right calculating you've been planning you've been writing everything out and you have been falling short and the pressure is on but I stopped by with a word from God for you this morning that God will provide for you you've done your part with being responsible now you got to kick in you got to let your faith kick in you got to shift in that fifth gear called faith in God it's time to look to him he's never failed he's never lost a case he's never lost a battle he never fails to make a way where there seems to be no way it's time to activate your faith come on come on lift your hands to heaven and say God I know from a natural standpoint I'm coming up short but I got my eyes on you I'm looking to Jesus this morning I'm looking to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords I'm looking to him who created the heavens and the earth my God my God so listen to this listen to Jesus now Jesus is a take charge person I love the personality of the Lord tell everyone to sit down Jesus never for one second looks at what they don't have and what they can't do why because he is God in the flesh and he is looking to the father the father the son and the Holy Ghost as a man he is limited but he knows how to break through the limitations and look to God watch this tell everyone to sit down Jesus said so they all sat down on the grassy slopes. The men alone numbered about 5,000. There was women and children. There probably about 25,000 people. Now watch this. Then Jesus took the loaves. He never talked about what they didn't have and what it looked like they can't do. He took the loaves and began to give thanks to God and distributed them to the people. Actually, he gave them to the disciples and he told the disciples to give them to the people. Afterward, he did the same with the fish and they all ate as much as they wanted. You need to lift your hands to heaven and quit looking at what you don't have. Just lift your hands to heaven and begin to give God thanks for what you got because what you have is about to be increased what you have is about to be multiplied by the power of the living God my God so everybody ate and they were all filled my God he turned this situation around they look broke they look like they did they weren't going to be able to meet ends meet but Jesus performed the miracle after everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten 
from the five barley loaves. When the people saw him do this miraculous sign, they said, surely he is the prophet we have been expecting. He made a way. He made a way for his people. These disciples didn't know where they were going to get the food or the money from to buy the food to feed all those people. But Jesus was testing them because he already knew what he's about to do in your situation. He knows what he's about to do. He knows exactly how he is going to bring the breakthrough in your life. And trust me, he is about to give you a breakthrough. He's about to provide. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and pray with us. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we lift your people up before you this morning. We lift their needs up before you. God, you see how their backs are against the wall. You see the pressure that's on them right now. But Lord, you are way maker. You said, behold, I'll do a new thing. I'll make a way for you in the wilderness. I'll bring rivers in the desert. Give your people a miracle. Even as you took the five loaves and the two fish and multiply it, God. Take the little your people have and bring supernatural increase. Bring a miracle. You are the God that took the water and turned it into wine. You haven't changed. You are the same yesterday, today and forever. Do it again, Lord. Do it again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen. To give into the ministry, you can visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. The information for you to give and support the preaching of the gospel is right there on the screen. Just follow that information and you know God's going to bless you because he is a good God. Also, we want you to go and watch this message called Supernatural Provision is Headed Your Way. Supernatural Provision is Headed Your Way.